been away so long. I was starting to wonder if maybe I dreamed it all. It's no dream, Billy. I never thought we'd come back. Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn, and we're here at New York Comic Con 2017, and we have a most amazing band and a most amazing story here. We have the band B.E.R., which is Carl Burnett. I'm the B. Frank Ania. I'm the E. And Billy Regan. The big R. <laughs> Now, as you guys recall, we had talked to Billy at the 200 episodes party for Teen Titans Go, right? What a blast. What a blast. That was a great party. I like the fact that they held it at the brewery. Yeah. Just saying. That always helps, doesn't it? <laughs> for sure. It's always good to have a party at a brewery. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> All right. So this is the first time, though, that we're getting a chance to talk to Frank and Carl. So I want to hear from you guys. How did your whole association with Teen Titans Go get started? Well, it, it got started with a song out of uh, Telepictures Music Library, which was The Night Begins to Shine. And uh, the guys at the show picked it up, and, it, here, we and here we are. <laughs> and, and just for the incredible team at Titans Tower and, and the narrative of the show and, and the promotion of our boy who introduced us. He, he's here in a, a different version here, but this is our Kerry Payton here as Cyborg, and even he's like, hey, this is it. This is the greatest song ever written, and hey, it's, and it's taken off from there. Right. That's Kari Payton playing on The Walking Dead right now. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, Frank, yes. uh, when was your first involvement with the song? Many years ago, but we this is a, a group thing effort, and we just Carl and I were sharing a space together. So it was like, right. hey, you got a, you got a track? I'm like, yep, and. Spin it through the washing machine and the, the dryer and did what you got to do. The dry cleaner. <laughs> did the dry cleaner and, and, Billy, and Billy made it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it all came about. So it, was just, just, it all came together. That's by us all together. Okay, so how long was the song out before somebody at Teen Titans Go had actually started listening to it? It was in the can for a, for a long time. Yeah. In various forms. Yeah. And then it just, you know, when, when Carl got the call, and then we just were looking through our, our, our stuff and trying to come up with ideas, and, and it just came from there, you know? Okay, so the first licks of The Night Begins to Shine first showed up on the episode Slumber Party, right? right. And it was just, uh, Cyborg was just doing this before he went to bed. It was like his bedtime routine, right? Exactly, yeah, and you know, and, and you've talked to Pete before, so I'm sure he told you, you know, that he was looking for something that sounded like the 80s, uh -huh. and he came across a song in, in the library, and, and it was really just kind of a... You know, a joke. You know, they needed to, to have the 20 seconds filled in Cyborg, and the fans heard it. And they loved it. The guys in the office started to sing it, and 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 um, and then uh, Michael Jelenic was like, "Hey, let's spin this, and we're going to do a whole episode next time." And that's when 404020 hit. Right. And it was looped. Like people were yeah. looping it on YouTube. Like, like we didn't even know we're yeah. going on YouTube, no, and there's like millions of views. I'm like, know. how did that happen? It's like, oh, shit, I forgot about that song. Yeah. It's like, so, it was yeah. hiding away because, you know, it, it had to be yeah, protected. Party, it had it, to be yeah. protected, so it was hidden away. But we didn't know about Slumber Party. That's right. the thing. Yeah. That was on for like a year probably before yeah. that. Yeah, right. we didn't know about that. And then it turned into 40-40-20, right? Right. And then, and then, that's, then we were, also were surprised because we didn't know until like yeah. it, was, it aired like yeah. a few days later that it was on. We didn't get wind of it until 40-40-20 hit. Right. right. So when did you first know about it, Billy? I was at work, and <laughs> yeah, <he got> to... <laughs> Carl sends me a phone call. It was probably uh, maybe 10 o'clock in the morning. He's like, man, you got to go to the computer. You got a computer by you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, remember the song, Night Begins to Shine? He says, go Google that song. And so I pull it up, and it's right on the top of the list. I'm like, whoa. He says, yeah, Teen Titans Go, man. Click on that. And, and it, there it was. So, I mean, it was... That was October, end of October right. in 2015, I think. Yep. That must have been pretty surreal for oh, you. Oh, man. It, it just, it made my day. I'll tell you that, man. Everybody in the shop knew. <laughs> so now the song's on iTunes. You've got an EP from Teen Titans Go that also has all the songs. Number one on iTunes and 17 on Billboard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's incredible. So I, I first saw it when the, it came out in the news story that you guys had broken into number 23 on the charts. Number 23, right. Actually, the soundtrack is 17. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, close enough. All right. right. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So, uh, you know, they made, after 404020, they made this four-episode movie that they showed, actually, at Comic-Con. So this was quite amazing, too. Now you guys are actual characters in the movie. And we are the characters. Right. <laughs> you know? right. You're wearing the characters right now. Can you show yours a little bit there? There you go. All right. Get my hair out of the So, Oh, there you go. So you're like a robot with long, red, flowing hair. Something right? like it. Yeah, I liked how they made me real buff. You know, yeah. I got a lot of working out to do. Yeah. And Frank, you're, you're like a eagle. hawk or something. A yeah, eagle. Yeah. Eagle? Yeah. You're like a spaceman drummer. I'm a spaceman drummer. <laughs> I'm a spaceman drummer. I always, you know, I always wanted to play the drum. So this is the perfect setting for that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys also did two brand new songs called "Forever Mine" and "Rise Up." And now, how did those two songs get started, and, and how did they get worked into this movie? Well, we were asked to write more music for the, for the, for the show, so we were just like, exchanging files, ideas, and, you know, and send it to Carl, Carl sends it to Billy, Billy sends it to me, we are just going back and forth, and, and I don't know, Carl, I guess it sounds like it, right? It's a collaborative process, I mean, but the, the, the essence of it actually starts with with the guys at animation and their vision for, hey, we want to we want to do something with a four part episode, and you know work up some tunes, and and from there, just because they like they like to spin the things with what's given to them and bringing the elements into place from their idea from what they're already given with they, they have from the visuals. yeah they have the know, visuals and then once they uh, they incorporated they heard the tunes and then. Then came the ideas, you know. So that the the music was the f part of the fuel for the narrative, you know. That was it's 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 just all encompassed into one, you know, one machine, you know. There might be other right. songs right. too that gets thrown in the pile that not, doesn't get picked, you know. Okay. So how did CeeLo Green and Fallout Boy come into the the mix here? That was all Warner started. Brothers, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was all Warner Brothers, you know. I, well, here's what I heard from Tara Strong, okay? Yes. Tara Strong had said that she was on an airplane, right. and she was sitting right next to Pete Wentz, okay, sure. lead singer of Fall Out Boy, sure. and she, she heard that he was a, a big Teen Titans Go fan, and he had kids that were a Teen Titans Go fan. So right. she said, you guys should come on the show. Wow, that's cool. So that's probably how it got all started. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're, and, and I think she's here today, so I'm gonna, yeah. gonna get to hang with her a bit. Those sure. Those versions are really cool too. If anybody wants to check them out, you right. know. So and yeah, and you can go to our website too for any information on on anything that we're it's doing. A true yeah. honor to have people of that caliber singing tunes that we yeah, wrote. Yeah. Right. CeeLo Green true. is pretty huge, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, there is an EP out there right now for Teen Titans Go, and it's all about The Night Begins to Shine and that, that four-episode arc there. So uh, I have it on my phone. You can get it on iTunes right now, Teen Titans Go EP, plus you guys have The Night Begins to Shine as a single. Absolutely. Check it out. <laughs> and, it, and it's been out as a single since, since 404020. Right. You're like, <laughs> October 15, is that when it came out? Yeah. And, and right. tw no, 2015, now. yeah. Right. Years ago. Right. So what kind of uh, fan response have you guys gotten about The Night Begins to Shine? Well, the, the most incredible fan response has been the positive power and impact that it's been having on kids, particularly ones with uh, special needs. And, and receiving uh, uh, messages where our kid has autism and they're struggling with their day-to-day -day activities and, 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 and able to sing the song and that's empowering them as they've seen through the narrative of the show. And that's really what it's about, you know, as a, as a group now to promote that in the real world and, and because the music does have power. And, um, it, you know, without right. even thinking about it, you know, these kids are really like he gets gets emails. I'm yeah. getting emails. Billy's getting emails. Kids are like, you know, you got that right. girl, that young right. girl who couldn't right. walk. Walking right. with Edith. And, and walking check with check her out on Facebook. Check walking with Edith out. Um, she it's her story is incredible. She was born with a deficiency and 
doctors have been doing surgeries with her for years and she's finally walking again and she uses that song when she's working out to doing through going through her therapy and it, it's a big thing for her man and that's that's, that's incredible awesome. and we're looking forward to uh, there's um, an autistic school that we're talking about visiting and doing a meet and greet with the kids um, and uh, you know we're that's that's what we want to do and it's all thanks to Warner Brothers because those are the guys the writers, you know, the, yeah, the producers so that, that put that in with Teen Titans Go that made it um, empower Cyborg to be able to open the can of pickles, you know, or the jar yeah, of pickles yeah. and, right. and mm -hmm. you know, to be able to defeat the, the dragon and, right. and all that stuff, man. Right. I mean, that's, yeah. that's so cool that the kids attach to that and they use that song for, for you know, overcoming their their battles. And it's, it's kids from today that are getting into an 80s vibe song. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Did we intend that? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. well, that, I mean, and that's what's connecting, I think, with the parents, you know. And, and we've gotten had some contact where people are like, oh, yeah, I remember that song from the 80s. And it's like, well, that's because the song knows you, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So what is your plan now, now that you've had all these things happen with the Teen Titans Go, what is BER going to do next? Well, you know, um, in the cartoon, my last line was, I think we're going to stick around a bit. So... Yeah. Um, we'll run with that. Maybe if uh, if things keep playing out in our favor, uh, we will stick around a bit. Let's keep Most exactly, I did know that. Keep yeah, stick around. Songs. Keep writing. I think that's our, our real yeah. strong point yeah. there. The writing. Okay. Yeah. And when the Titans need us for another adventure, we'll be there. We'll be there. <laughs> that's what Pete Michael said when I asked him at, at Comic Con. He said, "We'll have to see. The magic, you know, has its way of showing itself." Exactly. Yeah, that was great. Yes. So I'm going to ask, is this the first time you guys have ever been to New York Comic Con? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. This is it. Yeah. All right. So what are your plans for New York Comic Con? Oh, my goodness. Well, we've started off with Voltron, and that's... <laughs> I mean, and me, you know, I remember those, the, 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 the lines coming together. Yes. And, and, and the, the crazy thing is, is that our boy who designed our uniforms... Yes had the original Voltron from back in the day no when, and he was like man th back then you could actually put the, the lions together and form the robot but the one that's new it's lame you can't do that there actually there actually is a version it's called the legendary lions series and all five of them they're plastic right. but they all come together into right. an electronic black lion okay. where the black lion lets them know hey you know uh, we need Pidge, we need you or something if, if Green Lion hadn't been connected yet. But it, it's, it's awesome. It's got over 50 phrases and sounds and everything. You're going to love it. He's going to be happy to hear that. Because I'm like, dude, well, where's your, where your, where your Voltron? He said, I don't know, man. It's somewhere in my mom's basement. I don't know. It's like, I'm like okay, that's perfect. But you guys sort of came together like Voltron to, to, to get this all done, yeah, and, and, really. and it really was something magical. Truly, truly magical. Yeah, and what, do you know what you guys are going to be doing next here at New York Comic Con? gonna hang with you guys okay yeah <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm i'm into taking it all in you know, I, I, look at this <laughs> there's so much to do yes you know and if yes, you sir. haven't come you should get down here yes i agree we're looking, with you we're looking for the titans now oh yeah cool. we're looking for the titans this should be around somewhere i think tara strong is here right. yeah we'd like to meet her yeah. i think uh, greg sipes is here yeah. and I, I even think michael jelinek's gonna be here this weekend oh right right great yeah. right on Thank you for joining us on Toon Barn. Your uniforms are awesome. Man, Mark, thanks for having us, brother. <laughs> thanks for having us, Mark. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank Great you. to see you again, Mark, <laughs> on the East Coast. On the East Coast, <laughs> yes. So thank you for joining us on Toon Barn. Peace. Peace. Peace.